Good afternoon. I'm with Marjorie Wildcraft here to do a preview about this upcoming Buckfest Saturday. Saturday at 5.30. Okay, Marjorie, what's up with this Buckfest? What is all that about? Well, I'm very passionate about growing my own groceries and being food self-reliant in my backyard. And there are some minerals, and especially the omega-3 fatty acids, that are very difficult to get to grow through vegetables and animals. And insects are high in these nutrients, so I thought I would learn how to eat insects. Tell me a little bit about some of the bugs that are here. Well, we've got grasshoppers and katydids, uh, crickets, scorpions. The scorpions are my favorite. Yeah, well, I find myself kind of holding back my smile a little bit <laughs> because you're trying to put this serious, nutritious factor behind bugs, but I guess that's true. They're a great food source that's been used by humans for, for all of our history, and they're, they're eaten all over the world except for here in America. When I uh, first came up here, I didn't know, I, I just I just assumed it was going to be live bugs, but it's not necessarily live bugs. You also sort of simmer them and cook them a little bit. Oh, yeah, no, we're not eating the bugs raw. We're cooking them and preparing them. And when people come, bring your own books, and uh, we'll show you which ones are edible, which ones aren't, how to cook them. Well, you know, I came out here, and I thought I was going to try some of these guys, but I don't know. I'm a little creeped out by eating bugs. I'm going to leave that up to the pros like you guys. What's it taste like? Nutty. Very nutty. Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to say it tastes like oh. chicken. <laughs> mm. No, it's better than chicken. Tell me a little bit about the event in itself Saturday. It's just a big, fun uh, gathering. Um, families come. I've always been amazed at how many kids eat bugs and actually confess that they've been eating bugs all along. By the way, they're also looking for wasp nests, and there's also a lot of crickets out there these days, so should be a lot of fun out here. Reporting from downtown in the Silco Park area, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News.